What's up guys? So behind me you can see a really nice looking white coupe and this is going to be a little bit of a different story today because I had a bunch of footage for this car from when I went to go look at it last week. Me and a friend of mine did the five hour return trip to go see what this car was about and there's going to be a little bit of footage that I can share, mostly audio because the previous owner of the car really didn't want the inside of his shop or surroundings shared. So it's a little bit unfortunate because when I originally got there, he was okay with it. But when I wanted to post the video, he's like, man, I'd rather you not. So sometimes you just have to respect people's wishes. That's fine. Um, like I said, I'm going to take a little snippets here and there of the, you know, what happened, how it went down you know, what we saw, some of the negotiations, all of those other things, and try and put something together to fill you in on this 1990 LX Coupe. So a couple weeks ago, I saw this car on Kijiji, which is a Canadian version of Craigslist, even though we still have Craigslist up here. Um, it's just one of those things. Anyways, the car was posted up. It's a 1990, all original paint, uh, black cloth interior, full options, uh, AC apparently still works or maybe needs a charge. I forget what the story is there. Um, guy had it up and I already kind of had a buyer lined up for the car. Um, individual I know, also a close friend of mine, lives down in Florida. He's been looking for a real nice coupe for a while now. And um, when this one popped up, I know he likes white. Of course, he wants a black interior. So it's like, you know what? Maybe go take a look at this car. Hey, what's up, guys? Just doing a little bit of a road trip here today. Found a really clean 1990 LX Coupe, white on black interior, 90,000 original kilometers. So um, should be a pretty clean car. Going to go inside and check it out. So we get to the guy's place. You know, the car was there, it was on a lift, so it was up in the air so we could kind of see underneath and get an overall really good understanding of what the car was all about, you know, how many owners it had, you know, uh, why he got it. He admittedly said he bought it to flip it. Um, you know, he originally said that he wanted to potentially LS it, um, which, yeah, that's a whole other conversation for later. Uh, so did you buy it to flip it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah. Well, okay. I bought it. I was gonna put a six two like an LS and everything in it. Oh god. But I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he hates it when I say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I like. I love LS and stuff. That's what I got. I just finished this one. Oh, nice. It's uh, a nice truck. Uh, but long story short, he wasn't gonna be keeping the car. So went over everything, and I'm gonna go over a few things with you guys right now about it. But long story short, we ended up making a deal, and the car is here. All right, guys, so here we go. Car is a 1990 LX Oxford white, black cloth interior, all original paint um, in, in really good condition. As you can see, all the VIN numbers match everything else in terms of looking for a real nice original car. Now, to me, I think the car most likely got stored outside during the winter time. Um, you know, the quarter windows do have some pretty good pitting on them something that you would typically see down in the southern US where it's really hot. But you know what, minor detail when the rest of the paint looks as good as it does. Now, it's not perfect. There's a couple defects, you know, that we pointed out when we were there at the guy's place that ultimately we're used to negotiate and be able to make a deal for this car. Does anybody know what actually happened here? I was told a beer cooler scraped it, but I mean, so, you know, it's rust free like 99%. There's a couple little spots um, that just need to get fixed up, most, mostly in uh, the seal area. Um, it's like just some moisture got caught underneath uh, the weather stripping in a few spots. So we'll go ahead and get that corrected. But the biggest ouch or the biggest shortcoming with the car is this crazy scratch right here. So 
So we were told a beer cooler scratched that. You know, somebody obviously tried to fix that with uh, some touch-up paint. This is going to have to get blown in and corrected. Um, but you know what? It's a 30-year-old car, right? We can't really expect it to be perfect. Um, otherwise, you know, it came with its original 10-hole wheels. Um, it's sitting on these black Cobras, really not a fan, but you know, that's an easy change. Um, it's got these weird 25th stickers above the 5.0 emblem. Um, I asked him about this uh, when we saw the car and he actually asked me, he's like, well, you know, I'm told that the dealer did it, you know, in 90s or at 89 and a half for the 25th anniversary cars. And uh, to me, it's a first, I've never seen this. So if anybody else has ever seen it, let me know. But I think this was specific to the dealer um, that probably stuck those on or maybe the original owner put them on there because he wanted everyone to know that it was a 25th anniversary car. All right, so taking a look at the engine bay, got an SVE aluminum radiator, uh, looks to be the original plug wires. Um, actually, they're actually stamped 1991. Um, not sure if Ford maybe used, depending on when the car was produced, maybe a different year plug wire, but they are old. You know, you got the original headers in there, the coil covers there. You know, you got the inner fender cap and the air silencer is actually even hiding down in there. But Vintags, all in place, all the numbers match. So we can see how nice and clean the car is. So in terms of corrosion, guys, this is sort of what I was talking about. Um, so few little spots like this need to get cleaned up but that's really no big deal so nice stock clean interior um, you know aftermarket head unit in there this car only has 91,000 original kilometers so it's probably around 56,000 original miles somewhere around there uh, somebody is clearly um, taken out the armrest delete and replaced it with an armrest at some point I actually prefer the armrest delete. Ashtray door works. So that's good. So there's the interior of the car. The only thing that's not in really good shape that drives me nuts are those map pockets. And in fact, it's driving me so nuts. I'm gonna go ahead and fix these right now while we're on video and I talk about the car. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep talking about the car and I'm gonna get these map pockets uh, fixed because this drives me absolutely nuts. It's so easy to fix this. Um, you know, I've done a video on this so you guys can check and see, but come on, right? You got this nice mint interior. The map pockets are actually in really good shape. You know, usually they end up getting caught down in the um, rocker panel area down in the weather strip and then they start getting torn and ripped. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull this tight, get this fixed up. So going back to uh, the deal of the car, you know, the guy was pretty firm on his price. You know, I was trying to get out of him and ask him, you know, how much did you pay? You know, how much uh, are you potentially making? I didn't care, you know, I was like, we're all here at the end of the day because we're enthusiasts and, you know, need to want to potentially make a, a sale or a deal on the car. So. I don't know how much he paid for it. I made my assumptions and uh, I'll share a little audio clip with you guys on that one. And you guys can kind of decide and see if you agree with my logic on that one. See, I think the car is a really good buy for what needs to be done at 18. And I think you probably got the car somewhere between 12 and 15 and that's still three grand in your pocket. And then you don't have to store it. Look at that, right? Move along to the back side. Oh, look at this. Just have to change the screw and we'll be able to put this guy back on. You know, classic, uh, classic issue, these things, you know, the plastic gets old and brittle and the screw pulls out, but we'll get that, uh, we'll get that changed up and fixed. So aside from the haggling and trying to find out what the guy paid for the car, so on and so forth, you know, after reviewing everything and making an assessment of what the car was worth, um, you know, I made a phone call to my friend down in Florida and just kind of gave him a little breakdown and shared with him my thoughts that he could make a decision on, you know, if this was in fact the car for him. So that phone call I'll be able to share with you. So you'll be able to kind of get a, a hear and a listen firsthand on, you know, what I shared with him and his thoughts and how the negotiations went from there.
Hello? Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Sorry, I didn't hear the phone. No worries. Okay. Um, I sent you a few pictures. I don't know if you looked. Yes, I was just looking at them, and that video of that spot on the quarter panel looks weird. Yeah, but somebody said something about a beer cooler or something at some point. At least that's what he was told. So um, it's a younger guy who has it. He bought it to flip it. He didn't lie. But I do like the fact that this hasn't been repainted. Um, just, you know. Oh, it's so hard. Like, I don't think, let me, let me chat with him a little bit more and just kind of get an idea. Like, I don't think ultimately a decision needs to be made on the spot. You know what I mean? Like, I, I went around with it. Actually, I have my GoPro on now. Um, you know, I can, you know, get more pictures, send you more details, put a little bit of pressure on him, say, you know, we'll think about it. Like, to me, I think 18 grand would be a good buy for this car, Canadian. Um, and that would make me feel comfortable, and I think you would be comfortable at that too. I just don't know if he'll bite for that. Um, I'm not discouraged from it yet. Okay. That's what you're wondering. Okay. It does look like, you know, from what I can tell, it does look really clean. I am, I'm very surprised about the fucking quarter windows. That's like a Florida thing. I know. I'm, that's what I mean. And, and that's why there's these few spots on the car, is because clearly, like, I have a feeling it was probably not driven in the winter, but I bet you it was outside. Um, or maybe with a cover on it or something like that. But then thankfully, because it's white, you know, the sun hasn't baked anything and, you know, the paint shines. So, you know, you're going to want to detail the underside and there might be a few little tiny spots here or there. Um, but like, dude, there's not even subframe connectors on it. Like the inside just like it's it's an immaculate car. It's just a victim of the way it was stored. If it was in a garage its whole life, the thing would be flawless. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, bro. Keep, keep me posted. Thanks. Alrighty. Yep. Look at that. Just like that. So if you guys haven't done this to your car or was thinking about doing the map bag deletes or ripping them off, that's how easy it is, guys. You know, check out the YouTube video that I have up. It's literally two minutes and you will have your map pockets fixed. All right, guys, so I'm not just going to leave one side and not do the other one. So going back to the story about the car, long story short, you know, went in, hit him with an offer, and um, he wasn't having it. So we left. We left with the offer, said this is what, you know, we're willing to do, and um, think about it. Let us know if you're good. You know, we'll send the money, come back with a truck and trailer, come pick up the car. So a couple days went by. Didn't hear from the guy, and um, I reached out to him, and I also reached out to my friend down in Florida, and nobody wants to lose a car over a small amount of money. So, kind of found what we thought was a fair middle point, offered it to him, and you know what? He still didn't take it. He was adamant that there was a guy that was gonna come on the weekend, and you know, we're arguing over $500 for the car, and um, you know what, I just kinda, I kinda let it go. And then the next day, sent me a message. He said his uh, Mr. Sunday that was supposed to come look at the car um, didn't show up, so he accepted the offer. So we agreed on a price and um, arranged to pick up time. And you know, that's sort of where the filming started beginning again in terms of being able to go and pick the car up. There's a lot of burnouts on this road, though. Oh, I know. <laughs> That's what I said to him. Like, you've been friggin' cranking on this car everywhere. He says, oh no, it wasn't me. Like, wait till you see the ones here. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. They just burnouts everywhere up the whole road. I think you're going right here. Yeah. I figure. Like, just follow the burnouts here. Yeah. Just follow the burnouts right to his house. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it was a pretty straightforward trip. You know, the guy, the seller is a nice enough guy, I get it, you know, just sort of not everybody wants to expose, you know, themselves or what they got and everything else online to the, uh, to the rest of the world. But um, here we are, we got the car, my friend's going to be super happy, 
And um, that's the story, guys. And the story, you know, was pretty much told in the amount of time to fix a set of map pockets on a Fox body.